The road felt like it stretched out endlessly, winding through the heart of the countryside as I desperately looked for a place to sleep. The sun set low on the horizon, casting long shadows across the landscape, guiding me towards the small town of Willow Creek, a place where I could finally rest. My eyelids drooped with exhaustion, the weariness of countless miles weighing heavy on my shoulders. The radio crackled with static, a faint reminder of the world beyond the confines of my car, a world that seemed distant and forgotten in the quiet embrace of the countryside. As the town of Willow Creek came into view, I felt a surge of relief wash over me, a relief from the endless expanse of the open road, a place where I could rest my weary bones and find comfort in the stillness of the night. The town appeared deserted, its streets bathed in the soft glow of street lamps that flickered like distant stars in the night sky. The air was thick with the scent of pine and earth. Parking my car on the quiet main street, I stepped out into the cool night air, the silence of the surrounded me. My footsteps echoed against the pavement a solitary rhythm in the empty streets as I made my way towards the dimly lit motel at the edge of town. The door creaked open with a mournful groan, revealing a dimly lit lobby surrounded by tattered wallpaper and worn carpeting. The clerk behind the front desk eyed me with weary resignation, his gaze hollow and empty as he handed me the key to my room. As I walked up the creaking staircase to my room, a sense of caution washed over me, like a reminder to stay vigilant in this unfamiliar town. The air grew heavy with the scent of must, the stench of something rotten and foul wafting through the stale atmosphere. Unlocking the door to my room, I stepped inside, the musty scent of old furniture and dust, a scent that clung to the walls like a spider in the corner of a ceiling, taunted me. The night passed in restless dreams, haunted by nightmares of darkness and despair, a restless journey through the depths of my own fears, each shadow cast by the moonlight. As the sunrise over the horizon, I awoke to the sound of sirens wailing in the distance, a signal of despair that shattered the fragile tranquility of the morning air. Looking out the window, I saw a swarm of activity engulfing the town square, a frenzy of flashing lights and frantic voices, a testament to the chaos that had descended upon Willow Creek. The sheriff stood at the center of the commotion, his face drawn and pale as he addressed the gathered crowd, a grim reminder of the horrors that lurked just beyond the safety of their small town. Whispers of a killer on the loose filled the air spreading like wildfire through the streets. A shadowy figure stalking the night, preying on the unsuspecting souls who dared to venture into the darkness alone. But the killer remained elusive, a phantom in the night who slipped through the sheriff's grasp like smoke through his fingers. A silent killer whose presence lingered in the shadows. As the town descended into madness, I knew that my time in Willow Creek was drawing to a close. As I hurriedly packed my belongings and made my escape from Willow Creek, a sense of relief washed over me, a fleeting reprieve from the clutches of darkness that had threatened to consume me whole. But as I approached my car, a chill swept through the air, a chill that spoke of unseen eyes watching from the shadows of a presence lurking just beyond the edge of sight. And there, nestled beneath the windshield wiper, was a single piece of paper, a note left by the killer, a warning written in blood-red ink. Trembling, I unfolded the note, my hands shaking with fear and uncertainty. The words stared back at me, taunting and cruel, a grim reminder of the horrors that lurked within the depths of Willow Creek. If you ever return, the note read, each letter etched with malice and menace, there will be another victim. 
My heart froze in my chest, a cold dread settling over me like a shroud, a warning that echoed in the depths of my soul, a promise of unspeakable horrors yet to come. With a shudder, I crumpled the note in my trembling hands, casting it aside like a curse too terrible to bear. And as I drove away from Willow Creek, the weight of its secrets heavy upon my conscience, I knew that I would never forget the darkness that had stained its streets, the darkness that had claimed the lives of the innocent and left a trail of broken souls in its wake. For in the heart of Willow Creek, a killer still roamed free, a shadowy figure lurking in the depths of the night, waiting to strike again when least expected. And though I had escaped its grasp for now, I knew that the horrors of Willow Creek would forever haunt me.